This is what I call taking back the garden from Mother Nature. We're going more for garden and less for jungle. We are in my front yard pumpkin patch and we are going to do a quick little pumpkin harvest. I have two pumpkins here. I believe these might be called Long Island Cheese Pumpkins. I'm not sure, either that or some kind of ghost pumpkins. And we are gonna harvest them. There's pumpkin number one. And no, this one is not at all soft. I'm just gonna dust it off. And pumpkin number two right here. I had to show you that yes, I did have a few successful pumpkins and I don't know if there's any in the back garden, but as I gradually clean it up, that question will be answered and I will let you know the answer in the near future. Welcome to a gorgeous morning on Vancouver Island. Today is September 4th and we are doing a clean with me and harvest garden style. I've ever done a real clean with me in the garden on this channel so I thought that would be kind of fun. I've already got a good start on the cleaning but I'm going to take you with me for some more cleaning because there is a lot of cleaning to be done. We're going to start the cleaning by harvesting whatever we find. Starting with tomatoes, whatever's left on the vines is going to be picked and I'm going to pull out all of the vines today. I finally made that decision. The time has come, it is early September and I want to do a little fall planting so these plants have got to go. These are my spoon tomatoes. If you're new here, I have talked about them before. They are smaller than a teaspoon, it's way smaller than a normal cherry tomato and so adorable and grow in a massive abundance. I have gotten a lot of these teaspoon tomatoes this season and Mr. Supervisor also has been enjoying these little petite tomatoes. A red tomato right here, different variety. I'm now picking some of these green tomatoes. These ones are actually a greenish yellow tomato when they are ripe. So they taste much better than the rest of the green tomatoes in the garden. And that's why I'm picking these. Most of the green tomatoes I will not be harvesting because they really don't taste quite as good as these smaller ones here. So I'm all done my tomato harvest for this season. I am going to show you now that I'm going to pull out every single tomato plant that is left. I started pulling them already but didn't have the heart to keep pulling when I still saw so many red tomatoes. So we're going to finish what I started a week or so ago and get this garden cleaned up. I'm going to start with clipping the plants into smaller pieces because for now they are going in my compost bin until I can properly deal with them and I like them to be in a little smaller pieces in the compost bin so I'm just gonna chop them up. <clears throat> As I put them in the bin I'm going to chop up these, these plants into smaller pieces and that's what we're doing.
I've got lots of little baby kale plants growing right where he is standing. And that is where I am going to put my extra soil. I'm just waiting for him to clear out of the way, but we'll keep cleaning while he's here. I've got all kinds of weeds, grasses, things growing where they shouldn't be growing. And we've got a few more green tomatoes. We're just going to literally toss these into the compost bin. I'm just pulling out some weeds and debris from this little section of ground right here. And that's where I'm going to dump some of the extra soil that's been in my tomato containers. Just trying to get as many weeds out as possible before I dump my soil. You can see I do have baby kale here. So I'm not going to pull those out. I'm just going to let them be. Don't know if I actually planted these or if they're volunteers because I put seeds everywhere. So who knows anymore, but they are definitely plants that can stay. I'm pulling out my many lemon balms. I get hundreds, if not thousands of these that seed all over my garden as well as other locations. And they are not happy to stay. Not here, they will take everything over. Now I'm just gonna take my soil and dump it here. And it might end up covering my kale, but that's okay if it does. pretty well rooted but we can just break up the roots and let it go over the soil surface cover up those little tomato bits here and there and eventually this will gain holy shit look at this guys oh my god this was in my tomato planter thousands of ants here and of course I just dumped it right into the garden not knowing that I think I'm gonna scoop a lot of it back out and put it in my compost bin. I'd rather have them in there than in the garden. But holy doodle, what are they doing? Like, what are they carrying away? Are those eggs? Are they clumps of fertilizer? Like, what is happening here? I am now dumping that soil. You just saw me dump in the vegetable garden. It is now going back into the compost as much as possible. I don't want that ant swarm in the garden. I don't know what it would have done, but I probably wouldn't have done anything good. So the ants can mingle in my compost bin. I don't care if they do things here. <clears throat> and we're getting back to business, cleaning up this jungle. Just digging through another tomato root ball at this time. This time I put the root ball right into the compost bin. We're not messing around with more ants in the vegetable garden. And I'm just breaking up the roots here so that the soil can work its way down into the bin and get composting all these ingredients, all the yard waste and other compost vegetable scraps from the kitchen, my tea bags, all the things that go into here, eggshells, so it can start working its magic. We just got to break up the root ball a bit. We're diving right into the vegetable jungle now and we're going to get this sorted out. It's been a long day, long year. So what are you doing this weekend? Let's grab a plane out of here. Go up to the NYC, baby. It's crazy, but let's go. I don't know about you, but I'm ready. I don't care if it snows. I guess I'm out of my mind. Take me back to Manhattan. Back to the city where the magic happens. You wear your suit and tie and I will wear my satin. Where all the lights are bright and we won't even make it back till 3 a.m. I'm so laughing. Cause we accidentally got lost of Madison. Skyscrapers all you see, can you imagine? Let's dream about the day in the city that never sleeps. Take me back to Manhattan. Let's go to the west side, 
Times Square. Hey, spend all of our money on Fifth Street. I like it over there. Yeah. Even though you think it is too crowded, like Broadway and all the lights. We'll take the wrong train till we end up on. Eve, this is a basil plant. Oh my gosh, it is. It is good. I'm not pulling it out. Not yet. Oh, it's a little bit sad. Mm, strong. It's been on there a little too long, but I'm going to keep it because I love basil and I could probably revive this plant. It's not doing poorly, but prune off the old growth probably will give me a new flush of new growth still this season. So, whew, that was strong, but good. And the basil is staying. Here is the basil plant that I just ate. It is going to stay in the garden. I'm not pulling it out yet unless it happens accidentally. But for now, it's going to stay. I can definitely get a few more flushes of fresh leaves and I may even transplant this back into the house for winter. So for now, it's going to stay even though a lot of the rest of this is going to go. What do you guys do when you lack motivation for cleaning? Do you watch Clean With Me? Do you put on some good music? Do you procrastinate until the mess is so significant you are forced to deal with it? Let me know down in the comments. What do you do when you're not motivated to do your cleaning? I'm very curious what other people do to motivate themselves. For me, it's often a matter of time. I work full time. I try to make two or three YouTube videos per week. And a lot of times I don't have a lot of time. It's constantly balancing working full time, all of the other life duties that you have to do, trying to make two to three YouTube videos a week and all those things. It can be a lot of uh, time, especially making videos, but I wouldn't change it. I absolutely love making YouTube videos and I started YouTube hoping that one day that would be a career for me when I was super burned out from my nursing job. And I don't know if that will ever happen. I don't know if I will ever make money on YouTube, but it doesn't matter. I really do enjoy making YouTube videos. I love the YouTube community and I'm going to continue making videos. I love documenting my journey in the garden. I do look back on my old videos sometimes and I can see the garden growth, I can see the personal growth, and it is sometimes really interesting to compare how far things have come in less than a year or a year and a half. I do enjoy watching Clean With Me's on YouTube, so that's why I thought, let's do a Clean With Me garden edition because maybe that would motivate someone else who isn't feeling super motivated right now to get out and start cleaning and tidying up their garden. When I think about gardening, I think of things that I love doing that I do because I have to do and things that are sort of in between. And for me, my two favorite things about gardening are actually watering, believe it or not. I love watering. The only thing that I don't like about it is when I don't have enough time to do it. But in general, I love the process of hand watering. I love being out in the garden and watering because I, I look at the plants and I analyze the plants while I'm watering. And it's quite an experience just doing your watering, getting out there into the garden every day during the dry seasons and giving them some water and maybe some fertilizer sometimes. And my second favorite thing about gardening is actually planting the garden. I love planting the garden. I love planting seeds. I love planting plants, trees, shrubs, all the things. The things I don't enjoy about gardening are weeding. That is probably one of my top things that I don't enjoy about gardening. Weeding and 
cleaning. I guess weeding and cleaning go hand in hand. They're kind of the similar, but there are a few differences. Now we're gonna take this nice little pile here and put that in the bin. That bin is getting pretty full. Gonna have to find a new storage spot soon. This is what we're looking like so far. That's what we've cleared since you guys started watching today. I'm making my way this way and this way at the same time. I do enjoy pruning. It is, I could almost put that in with my favorite gardening task. Enjoy a good pruning session. It feels very, very satisfying. I'm gonna pick up the pile and put it in the bin. It is a new day today. It's actually been several days since I started my garden cleaning project. Not finished. I keep attempting to pull out my pumpkin and squash plants, but I don't have the heart to pull up. The plants when I see little baby squashes or pumpkins forming it seems so disheartening to pull them out but it is already September I think it's the 8th or 9th today and I know there is no hope of them ripening so they really do need to go so I'm gonna bite the bullet and pull them out this let's get down to business my supervisor is here I'm quite curious how he's going to react to pulling out his favorite garden plants. He may not be happy about this. We shall see. We're starting right at the edge of the garden and working our way in as the pumpkin and squash have invaded a good percentage of the garden. No squash on this one, so that makes me happy. Or pumpkin. Here we go. This is a good amount of plant we just pulled. Let's see if there was any squash. We had one baby squash here but pretty small not gonna worry about that and nothing else so that feels good this is what he's currently doing going for the kale plants Poor choice. I had a feeling this was out here, but the last time I searched for it, I could not find it. This is actually a bigger, what I believe to be spaghetti squash, but I'm going to pick it and I'm going to roast it. I haven't roasted my other one yet, so hopefully it's good. I feel a little bit bad having picked this because maybe it would have gotten a lot bigger still with the growing season, but it's okay, we're making room for the fall garden. So everything is fine, we're gonna continue. We have kale plants growing amongst the pumpkins and I am planning to leave them if possible. Now this one might be pumpkin Big Mac, I'm not certain. Well, we got a chunk, no pumpkin on here. There are a ton of weeds in here that I'm pulling out at the same time as going for my pumpkin and squash plants. And I'm trying to leave the marigolds or any other plants that I think are valuable. I am sacrificing carrots here and there, but I think it's for the better. I'm trimming back bigger kale leaves that I see that aren't so healthy because the kale will live all winter and we might as well have some fresh foliage on the kale plants. So they are getting trimmed as we go. 
that is a marigold I'm trying not to pull out. Oh no, guys, I found what I believe is probably Dill's Atlantic Giant Pumpkin and I didn't harvest any mature ones. Now I have a big dilemma. Illuminati confirmed. Into the jungle and look what is here. This, I believe, is Dill's Atlantic Giant. And honestly, I was planning to clear them all out, but I didn't have any pumpkin big necks or dills atlantic that matured and this one isn't soft at all it's quite hard so even though it's the end of the season i'm just gonna pull some of these weeds i don't think my heart can pull this out oh my goodness it's so precious because I really, really wanted one of those varieties and I do have one and there is still a chance it will grow bigger and get more ripe. I think I have to leave it. But we're going to continue pulling debris, weeds, and squash going in this direction that is not connected to this plant if possible. And hopefully still get this garden a little more cleaned up before I call it quits for the day. entering a patch of carrots and I'm going to clear it. I think they're probably growing a little too close together so we might as well pull them out. I don't know if they'll be salvageable but we'll take a peek. Oh yes, there are baby carrots, but I don't think I'm going to save them this time. Very baby ones. I might save a few, or maybe I'll give some to Supervisor, but they're so small. I don't know if I'm in the mood for salvaging them today. <laughs> that one's a little bit bigger. Maybe I will save it. We are going to stop for the day and I'm going to show you the progress that we made. I'm actually very delighted. I feel super satisfied with the progress. So this is the corner where we started. This is where most of my squash and pumpkin plants started in this area. This was the squash we harvested, even though it's immature. And this is what's left in the jungle area. This is what I believe most likely Dill's Atlantic Giant. It's possible it's Pumpkin Big Macs, but I did leave it on the vine. I didn't have the heart to pull it out. 
So I'm leaving this section of the jungle a little bit longer, but then instead of stopping, I decided to tackle this direction a little bit more. This area is all cleared out. It was a ton of weeds. There are some carrots, which I may or may not salvage. My little sunflower area is still here with a few marigolds. I did leave some kale plants, although I did pull a few out. And I'm going to prep the soil, probably not today, but digging in compost. Just digging up the soil in general in the way that I enjoy doing that for fall. And we will plant a little fall garden somewhere here. I may or may not do more cleaning sessions, which I probably won't film before I plant the fall garden, but this is what it's looking like right now. Here's my pile of debris. I have multiple piles of debris. After finishing this project, I think they're here, there, and everywhere. Thank you so much for joining me on my little clean with me garden edition. Hope you have a lovely day, evening, night, wherever you are, and we'll see you very soon somewhere else in the garden. Bye for now.